Hello. What is Lomachenko doing here? This is most definitely not how Vasily Lomachenko strikes. Throwing haymaker after haymaker, what happened to that crisp and technical genius he usually demonstrates? Well, here. Lomachenko is likely making fun of his next opponent's striking style, Tiafimo Lopez. Now, on paper, Vasily Lomachenko should win, but there's always a great equalizer, and that equalizer is power. It means nothing if it cannot hit, but if it does, one mistake, just like that, the course of the bout can change. Tiafimo Lopez, powerful, clearly, he has remarkable reactions, he has Phenomenal timing, athleticism, blinding speed, 23, Tiafimo, he is a new-gen boxer, piecing it all together with his own set of tricks. With that said, let's take a closer glance into a few of the tools he uses. No Tiafimo stands, he's using the Philly shell, with the lead hand is low, to protect the body. One of the tools Tiafimo uses from this stance is the shoulder roll. Here. You can see how Tiafimo attempted to roll the strike, but it still clipped him by just a bit. Nonetheless though, because he moved with the force, just like that, recoiling off that momentum, he re-enters with his own shot. Boom. Clean counter. Note how he keeps his lead arm low as well, he's coaxing his opponent to enter on him because he trusts his speed. He knows he can catch his opponent on the recovery. Once again, boom. When pinning your back foot and reaching for your strike against Tiafimo, it's clearly very dangerous, you can't recklessly extend. You know, there's another advantage to having the lead hand low. When the lead hand rises from a low position, it can make the strike harder to see. This is something we can note from Muhammad Ali's jab as well. His opponents often had a hard time reacting to his jab. The way he'd snap it out was not only quick, but because it would raise from a hands low position, he could often snap it against his opponent's face before they could even react. Paired with the way he'd circle, his elusive butterfly footwork and head movement, the way he'd circle and snap it out at times would make his opponents look foolish, like he was clowning them, even though it wasn't his most powerful strike. But because he could consistently connect with it, it did achieve something very important. Watch, it would momentarily muffle or block vision, which in turn made it easier to connect with the backhand. As you can see, Ali was a counter puncher, his style was very difficult to deal with, inviting you to strike him while his hands were in a low position, all the while ready to pull and counter, but if you stood in place trying to figure out your window for entry, he would muffle that entire process by popping you with his jab. From there, he would gauge your reaction to his backhand, even chicken winging the backhand at times as a feint to test how you would flinch. Pair though with the jab, muffling vision for its entry, down the pipe, boom, the butterfly could sting like a bee. That's the exchange gained for sacrificing defense, it is increased offense by making the strike harder to see. That's just it, he's rapidly snapping out his lead to block fish with the hand position and hand speed. It just makes his lead hard to respond to, which in turn makes real threat, real commitment hard to respond to all the same. Now, just to gain a bit more perspective, just watch how he blocks vision even when his hands are in a more responsible position. Tiafimo Lopez blocking with his lead, just look at how much load up he has in his backhand. Get his opponent, he hasn't fully gauged the weight of what is coming. By the time he does, he's just a fraction of a second too late. Tiafimo Lopez, he connects with a rabbit punch to the back of the head, which was contributed to by his opponent's attempt to duck. It wasn't his fault. Boom. Just like that, his feet stop working properly. Watch here, even if you try to soak it with a tight guard, who's to say you won't feel such a wound up expression of doom through that show. Boom. If you take that, the moment you're blasted off footing is that same moment, returning with your own counter becomes very difficult. Here, Tiafima Lopez does something very sneaky and unorthodox. He shows the haymaker with shallow commitment to flinch his opponent's pull, then boom, off that recoil, he times lightning from the lead against that flinch. This is something very important for us to note. Fluid intelligence, he's constantly adjusting, noting how you flinch to his feints and telegraphs. Here, just with a mere pump of the jab, boom, what was meant to be a slip to the outside, countering the jab, was instead countered itself with a haymaker. This 
highlights not only Tiafimo's ability to read the fight, but also a much simpler, more terrifying truth. He's just that explosive, boom, doing flips seemingly with ease. With a remarkable level of explosiveness, just look at how quickly he explodes into that pocket, his tight and elastic force transmission system, that tighter fascia which is often common amongst more explosive athletes. It's so natural. Here, fainting with the jab, touching with the backhand, and then in comes a lead hook, beating the counter punch to the punch, straight up lightning. With all of this said, we are beginning to get a feel for something. The matchup between Tiafima Lopez and Vasily Lomachenko, it is the ultimate youth and physical talent versus supreme skill and technical understanding. Truly, I look forward to seeing how Vasily Lomachenko handles such danger, knowing one strike can instantly change the course of the bout. What do you guys think will happen? I'd love to hear your perspective in the comments below. If you'd like to stay elevated, why not subscribe or hit the notifications? Thank you if you did. If you enjoyed and would like to give back, why not smash that like button? It truly does mean a lot to me. Thank you again. You guys are always appreciated. Thank you for stopping by and until next time, peace. That's why sometimes he would drop his lead. Sometimes people don't know. My Muhammad Ali, he dropped his lead. And that's what Bruce Lee, he dropped his right lead because he said the jab coming up is hard to see.